bloody excitement to the max. Me and Aaron are heading over Sam shooting, so we get on the boat at 6.30, I believe it is, and then head off to Victoria. So, going to pick up my new pup. Uh, I'd like to say a massive thanks to Daniel from uh, Ultimate Hunting Australia uh, for my pup. Um, but secondly, Matty Wright, you're a bloody legend. Um, Maddie's taken care of everything for me from start to finish. I couldn't get over there until today, so it's the 9th of June. Um, yeah, been an absolute legend. Such a big help taking care of everything for me, looking after that little Seiko. So I'm pretty excited to get over there and meet him and pick him up and head down to where we're going to camp for the next week. And It's time. We're on our way to the boat. So we're bloody excited. We're like two kids in a lolly store. We're just currently sitting at uh, Lima South. Aaron's just got to have a pissed stop, and then we're going to keep on moving on and head into Mansfield, check out the hunting shop in there, and then keep on punching through to Jamison and get up in the hills, set up camp, and hopefully we'll get in a bit of a hunt this afternoon. Uh, that's the plan, anyways. This bloody sook here. He got it made, this bastard. Till he gets older, won't be doing it forever. Mr. Sago is bloody miserable. I've been calling, but I haven't had no response or I haven't seen any movement, so. I was doing it last night and we had a couple of dogs howling. Um, so every time I'd let one go, I did the house. I thought I'd better stop. We had something come through camp last night. Well, we had two things come through camp. One, I'm pretty certain it was a deer. The other one, I reckon, was a dog. any deer this afternoon so I decided to call it quits and go and catch up with Aaron. We went back to camp, cooked up a nice stroganoff on the fire and got warm. We're just leaving camp on our first morning hunt. We're gonna go check on the trailer that we got stuck. <laughs> Grab some gear out of there if we can get down the track. There's a heap of four wheel drivers around yesterday so we're hoping they haven't chopped up the track too much. And uh, we're gonna stop on the way and hunt a bit of nice ground that we've seen coming in. 
And with a bit of luck, we'll get lucky. There's bloody fog everywhere at the moment, so it's not real good visibility. It rained all night again last night. And now the weather's changed, saying that we've only got one day of bloody good weather. So, anyway, we'll persevere and see what we can do. If anything exciting happens, as usual, we'll check back in. Right, oh, no, we've got our spot, we're all geared up. Aaron's got his stuff. Let's say he goes in the pack. So, Aaron's headed that way behind him. I'm headed up that spur there. Try and get up over in the next valley system. And the sun's trying to poke out, so we're hoping it comes out because it should push all the animals onto the side of the hills, chasing that sunlight. Aaron's got it easy, he's got a bloody walking track over here <laughs> to, to go up. <laughs> I'll be bush patient, but the wind's wind's pretty good today. Uh, we'll see how we go. Just found this nice little spot here. We've got a branch tree over here. Fresh stag prints are going up through there, so it looks like he's headed down into the valley. I just thought I'd sit here for ten minutes and let out a few calls and see what happens. Sounds like someone's got dogs out over there in this next valley over. So I'm hoping it works in our favour and push them this way. She's freaking steep drain. Especially with this bloody dog in my backpack. Anyway, it's good finding a bit of sign putting him under the, the scent of them. So. Second afternoon, so I'm having this nice little valley system here. Break, break down at the bottom down here. These are noisy little bastards, I don't think I'm going to see anything. Is that freaking noise? It's ridiculous. Anyway, we'll keep persevering. No, the wind's perfect. Looks like a really good spot, but just no animals to speak of as yet. So. But it's only three o'clock, so we still got a while yet. Aaron's going on the ridge back behind me there. Bloody nice country. There's plenty of sign. There's shit and footprints everywhere. But I'm guessing because we're so close to the farmland, they'll be coming through late. says pups too young to hunt so he could just come across this I was about 20 yards up the hill there I was seeing him stop and he was sort of half pointing sniffed the ground and then started taking off through here fresh deer shit fresh wolf prints hey you never know we might get lucky he's coming down this gully here cross across this way here
say watch he doesn't know what he's about he's all this wants to say That's what we come here for. That's what we come here for. Yeah. <laughs> They're perfect broadside for you. Fuck, now if I have a fine one. There's only going to be 300. Do you reckon?
and uh, leave a comment if you like this sort of stuff. Fingers crossed we'll actually get a deer on on the deck for you. So, alright, cheers.